Hey everyone, and welcome back to Dino Park El Numero Dos. The episode where we're going to figure out how to do the water system, get nice running hot water, upgrade the bathrooms here, uh, get some nice like warm giant bathtubs instead of these ridiculous bamboo uh, water tubs. And hopefully we have it all heated as well. We're going to finish up. Oh, whoa, forgot all about the raid. Whoopsie daisy. <laughs> I just literally forgot about it. All right, everyone get an alert and zoom over here. I was just so excited to build stuff that when I started this episode, I was like, oh, yeah, here's how the water works. This is going to work like that. And I get the thermostat and fun times. And then, yeah, I just 100% forgot that the raid was even incoming here. But let's get someone like, let's say, Zavoria to come down here and mount eight and then have her charge over there. Or else some. Now, as long as Mango and Chaos get back here in time, we should be fine. Let's give Cinnamon... Yeah, Cinnamon's already got the best spot there. Mango getting shot at as he runs in, but that's fine. Make sure I have a spot down here where I can shoot. Very good. Mango has a pistol. We'll put him uh, down here, I guess, in the middle. Chaos is melee, so that's perfect. Him being right in the right in the center. Oh, that was Slarcy. I thought that was me. Uh, regardless, I may come all the way down there into the corner. Beautiful! Look at these dopes. One of them's already hit walking around the corner there. Come on, guys. Come say hello. We're prepared for you. Look at him walking slowly over the swamp, getting wrecked. Natural defenses. Love it. We only have to kill six of these guys. We've already got two down. Are they taking cover behind this Alocasia? Uh, the answer is yes. 20% cover effectiveness. Crazy. I almost wonder if I should leave those there because 20% so low might be good. Oh, Rhino came over here with the shotgun now. Chaos is here. This is going to be no problem. Oh, boy. Oh, these poor guys. Look at this guy coming right up to the wall here. Ooh, what is he doing exactly? What are they? Whoa, what are they doing exactly? Raiders remain eight. We just got to kill two more. Mandrill's taking some real cover. Quatran over here riding the Komodo dragon into uh, into the base. Yeah, there goes another one, it looks like. Colonist needs a treatment. That's me. Chaos, if you wouldn't mind coming down here and helping me out with this. Beautiful. Chaos getting shot by this guy. He doesn't care. He dodges the shot as well. Dodges another one. Beautiful. I'm doing some melee punches on Karoro down there. Whoop, now they're fleeing. Yep, looks like Chaos showed up, whacked Karoro in the head. And off they go. Zavor, you want to go murder this guy? Oh, look at the little guy, the little Komodo. It's a juvenile female. How could it even hold Guantron over here? I was wondering why it was so small. Oh no, the poor guys. Rhino, come out here and have fun. Oh, they're getting wrecked. Yes, the board. Oh my lord. Okay then. Well, <gasps> Cambiar, friends. It's Cambiar. I wonder what kind of underground night owl. Yeah, well, he's not a Hunomer in this one, but. I wonder what kind of activities he's going to go get himself up to in just a little bit here. In any event, I think what it... Whoo! I Guatonbi. I Guatonbi. Amazing. Uh, we're pretty much done here. Oh, don't kill the Komodo, guys. It's so unnecessary. Listen to the noise they make. That's unnecessary. Let's check out this Amber Knife. Damage 6.5 and Melee Pen 15. That is way better than the knife that I had given Chaos, or the club that I had given Chaos over here, which is a five and 14. So we're gonna have him come up here and equip that amber knife. That's a beautiful upgrade. Let's see now if we wanna recruit uh, Karo over here, or if we wanna nom the Karo. That's the real question. Construction, mining. Mm, I do need a miner, but I'm not happy about people who can't really fight at all. So not particularly. Plus everyone, we have about four people with about five to six or seven mining skills, so we're okay on that. Iguan Tonbi, ooh, he loves the shooting, loves, 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 loves the mining. Now this guy, I like, unless he's gonna die in five hours, but otherwise he's looking fine. You know what, let's have Zavoria over here since she's riding eight, come capture Iguan Tonbi the digger. And then looking around, Cole Toll, what's up with you? You're open-minded animals. Mining melee. Well, we have enough on the melee, so we're good. Let's grab all these hunoms and make sure they're all urgently because we don't want them rotting out here. It's going to be our dinner. Amazing. Let's take a look at these um, wooden clubs. So these wooden clubs are actually better than the hemp club we made, amazingly. 
bamboo club. It's way better. So this club we made is complete trash. <laughs> it's complete trash. Not bad at all. What do we take for wounds? Slarcy got cut uh, once with a short bow in the leg. I got a couple of bruises, and that was it. Well, the fences worked out uh, very well over here. Very well indeed. It might be a sound strategy to actually leave these 20% cover ferns here. Because then the enemy will walk up and take cover there. If there's if they have no place to take cover, they will charge into the front lines. But we do have a couple of people who can melee, so it might not be too bad. Let's come up here and see if Iguatambi... First of all, let's get Zavoria off alert. Let's see if Iguatambi is going to be savable. Yep, death in four hours. Prisoner, 81%. Not bad. Resistance, 36. Not bad. Let's go straight into recruit. And someone should come take care of him. We could also lock him in underneath if we wanted to. Peacemaker. He will always try to persuade others to put aside their differences. Well, that could be good for us. I'm not exactly sure what it means, but it could be very good for us. Now, Chaos is running away. Oh, probably because someone stood up. Yes, Karo stood up over here. Chaos, go put him on the ground really quick. Mango is tending to Iguantanbi. That's what we wanted to see. Beautiful. Thank you very much, Chaos. Let me just finish him off. Save some time here. Finish off. Chaos, when you're done, come over here. Finish off. Awesome. Make sure these guys... Are, whoops. I didn't mean to strip them. I meant to haul them originally. Awesome. And then all these men should be coming over here. Well, they will get prepped directly into the fine... Ooh. This reminds me. It's time for a freezer now that we have electricity. That's one of the other things I wanted to do today, if possible, is make a bunch of coolers. The problem is we don't have enough steel. Overwall cooler. I actually like that better. Overwall cooler wide. Oh, it can go through two walls. Oh. Fascinating. That's kind of cool. I don't know what mod does that, but I like it a lot. Uh, let's put the cooler, like, right here, pumping the heat outside, because it's always hot in this zone. Ideally, you, you kind of want this place cooled as well, but it's not that important. Eventually, we'll have the cook over here. This will be like a cooled cooking room, and we'll move this stuff out into this area. All right. How's Igoton be doing up here? He's doing just fine and dandy. All patched up. No problem. Does he have food? Yes, he does. If, you, if they don't have food, they'll die oftentimes um, from blood loss. But he does, so he's good. Now then, uh, we got a few more things to work on down here. It's really a matter of steel at this point. We've only got 156, but we should have quite a bit more. Uh, what I'm thinking of doing, since we have all of this steel slag, if you look at the map here, got a lot of cargo pods that crash nearby here there here here i think it might actually behoove us to go for an electric smelter of course it itself takes 170 steel but i think this might be a good investment because we can then chop up all of this slag everywhere and get um, our steel back out of it the only question is where do i put it Well, you can always move it later. So I think what I might do is actually put it in here because it's closest to most of the steel. And another thing I want to do is check all of these zones here. Let's put this down to low. This one's on normal. So all of this stuff should get filtered out of there and put into this room. And then over here in this room, we want to make sure that there's no foods or meals over here at all. Uh, and all of that stuff should then come down into this area by default. Unless it's going to come down here. Yeah, this is set for foods as well. Let's shut that off. Beautiful. So now all the foods should come over here. And we got some new visitors. Confederacy of Funeron is showing up. Svetlana, Gizmo, Akermi, Lovegood. All right. Well, they can come stay. Although here's the question. How many of them are there? Seven. Now, we only have six beds, so 
One thing we could do is reallocate, actually. Let's... Zippy, Zippy's already here, too, which is really unfortunate. Let's shut that off, I guess. Let's reinstall it over here. We'll move this over and put one more bed in there. Mango, why are there? If you could just very quickly move that over for me. And then let's reinstall this guy right there as well. Mango, before you go to bed, if you wouldn't mind, take about two seconds. Awesome. We'll make this back for beds, or prisoners, rather. And then let's build another one. I kind of like this one right here, and I want a little symmetry, so let's go for old style. Uh, we'll make it out of bamboo. Rotate it around. Beautiful. That'll get us up to seven beds. And you get another one right there if we move this chest table out. Which, you know, we could do that. So let's reinstall the chest table down here. And then we'll reinstall the chairs down here. And then we can put one more bed up there when all of that's taken care of. In any event, we've got a... Ooh, the cooler is now up and working. Let's get this down to... I'd like to usually do it around 30 Fahrenheit, negative one degree Celsius, just enough to keep it frozen. And then looking inside, 84, is it working? Power needed 200. Grid has 310 excess. Power, current, current usage is high, so the answer is yes, it's just gonna take some time. Oh no, I've gone on an apathetic mood break because of the darkness. I have been working out here, toiling away, mining in the rain, in the dark. So despite the fact that I'm really happy about a million things, sleeping in the heat, disturbed sleep, radiopartal, darkness, pessimism, serious pain, eh, it's, it's a little rough. I don't think it's actually that hot normally. Yes, in the bedrooms it's 73 degrees, 69 degrees Fahrenheit, 20 Celsius, 22 Celsius. It just must have got really hot that one night. And that's where I got that mood buff, and it should go away. In any event, this is looking pretty solid. We just need to let time advance here, and hopefully... Disease infection on Iguatombi. Well, then. That's less than ideal. Let's take, take a look at what it is. It's in his torso, so if we don't take care of that, he will die. I'm going to have to wake up Mango to have him come over here and tend to him. And then while we're there, let's clean up the room as well to reduce the chances of more infections. We should have done that before. We have no storage space. Oh, Cambiar died! Oh no, friends! I didn't even realize. I didn't even realize he was going to die out there. Poor guy. Well, such is the end of Cambiar. In any event, we're out of room down here um, for all the Hunnam, so hopefully in the morning... Chaos will wake up and take care of all this delicious stuff, but until then. Whoa, 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 never mind. Zavoria started a social fight with Akemi. What the heck? Zavoria lauded Galloway's faction. Galloway was eager to hear more. Akemi called Zavoria a sardine. This drove Zavoria into a rage and she began a fight. Zavoria is supposed to be the peacemaker, the ultimate talker of friends. Oh, poor Akemi. Poor Akemi, let's check who won the fight. Zavoria got bruised four times. Ak Akemi actually only got bruised three times. How the heck? Zavoria consult, what the? She's not even wearing a shirt. Just like a topless female running around with a coat on. What the? <laughs> well, no wonder why Zavoria got to do a fight with her. Good lord. That was a surprising turn of events. Zavoria has literally soloed in the past. Uh, eight over here, end two people, end multiple animals all, all at the same time. So it's really surprising that Zavoria would lose a social fight there to a random passerby. But, you know, stranger things have happened. All right, end with that. Slurs, he's about to finish off our smelter here. Beautiful, we can grab that. Uh, we're barely gonna have the power to run this, but when we can, let's smelt metal from slag, do forever. Uh, all of the stuff inside of here, I feel like I just need to haul it urgently to get it out of here, for the most part, uh, so that this can become the place we store all the Hunams, 
and various other things because we have been losing tea and coffee and whatnot uh, as time has gone by. So, I stopped being apathetic. There's now a fire down here. There's an extreme break risk on me. Visitors are leaving. They seem to be very happy and they left us Calicotherium meat 38 and I missed the last three things. I think it's just all the prisoners are very happy and they're going to come back someday in the future. Oh, the smelter needs 700 watts. I thought it needed 300, so we're way behind on that. Uh, did this ever get mined out over here? No, it didn't. Until that does, we can't really put more in there. Ooh, isn't it beautiful when the rain goes away? It's really nice to see all of this stuff get moved, though. Now, is this under foods, raw meals? Coprolite rocks, lava flow, paleo bar, sonar punch. The heck? I haven't even seen this stuff before. Uh, in any event, what we need to look for is tea and coffee. So let's just type in tea. It's probably going to be plant matter. Yes. There we go. Coffee beans, hemp fibers. So we need to actually shut that off over here. So let's get rid of coffee beans, psychoid leaves, all of these random smoke leaf things, tea leaves, perfect. So now those should by default come down over here. We can have extra ones over here, I suppose. Actually put this up to normal now. So it goes ahead uh, into there rather than over here. Ooh, we got our first barley. Well, look at that. That's pretty snazzy. That's right, I forgot we were going to make some alcohol at some point, but uh, too many things are going on here. All right, so I set this to accept human uh, humans, and we're going to get these hauled in there now. That took care of our uh, lacking of space. The tattered apparel is, seems to be growing to more. Oh boy, that's not good. That's right in the middle of our park. We don't want a burnt out, boring park. I didn't even see that up there. We need to expand the home area up here briefly and make sure the entire colony basically goes to take care of that. Everyone right now, we need to wake me up, get me out there. Cinnamon, stop moving the corpses. Basically, everybody chaos has uh, mental, mental issues, so go let him deal with it as it is. I really do not want all this beautiful lands to get disintegrated by fire and I also do not want the fire to start another rainfall because we just had it end and problem resolved got a little bit of a burnt out area but that'll grow back it gives it some some flavor I feel so one thing we're actually lacking is a considerable amount of vegetables we have basically zero uh, so at this point, I'm feeling like our cotton is... Uh, let's turn that off of sewing. The next time we harvest that, we'll switch it over to rice to get a little bit more out of that. All of these mans now are eating the random uh, meat. One thing I didn't think about with Chaos is that he's not a Hunamer. So he is very, very, very unhappy about all of this over here, unfortunately. And there we go. He's now going into a paranoid uh, fit. So what I might need to do is get it set up such that Cinnamon handles the hunaming and chaos on the other hand doesn't do that uh, i'm not exactly sure oh here we go any worker yes yeah, so i can do that by setting up a second butcher that's just for cinnamon and make sure her cooking is very high and then i can have all the regular builds uh, for cooking go to chaos and he'll be the only one so this issue doesn't happen again All right, so that's all set up. Now Cinnamon will be the one who cooks the Huna meals in a very high priority, and she'll come over here and butcher. But the regular bills are set to chaos only. Uh, cook the fine meal, chaos only. Beautiful. The fine meal over here, this is the one with the Hunams. That's Cinnamon only. This simple meal is going to be chaos only. Uh, and now we don't have to worry about Cinnamon cooking, because it's going to be Chaos, who's the only one who ever does any of the cooking, except for when this Hunam's involved. 
Amazingly, this is super clean and weird. Oh, because it's it's got frost on the ground. Oh, wow. I've never seen that before. It looks visibly frosty. That's amazing. We should probably drop this cooler down a little bit more. I'm going to go down to 20. Because I feel like it's just not necessary. Once we walk on the door like once. Plus, this smelter might generate heat. It might not be the best place for it. That's a temporary setup for it, to be honest. Relations with Southern Thane have changed from 90 to 80. All right, that's fine. We started to work over here, and we got the basics of this room put together, which is nice to see. Yes, there we go. There's our electric pump. And here comes our water well. It's going to take 200 work to get that thing going, though. So this takes 200... Okay, this takes 250 power, and we're way behind on power. So, Zavoria, if I remember correctly, you love the mining. The answer is yes. Let's have her come up here immediately and prioritize mining that and then mine the next one. Oh, yeah, look at that. Okay, well, it's just she's so quick, we'll just have her finish up the whole thing. And then let's build a second chem fuel generator right there. Beautiful. There we go. Now we've got a water well, piped water stored, 7, 8, 9 liters, ground capacity, 1276 liters a day. This is confusing. Piped pump ground capacity, 1500, 1276, pollution level 0%. Uh, and then how about my wooden water tower? Water stored. There we go. It's now storing the water. We're, we're pumping it into there. Presumably, now none, none of these uh, fixtures are going to use it because none of them actually use um, water. But I think we are now okay to remove like these bathtubs and put in actual ones with like spouts and we could put in real sinks now. I'm pretty sure. <gasps> and we built the gate, friends. We're coming along. We are coming along. Oh, one thing I forgot to do is do this. We need to wall this off so that uh, no dinosaurs escape or bad things happen. Savory is working on Ego Twombi. Only 0.5, but you know what? The guy's in extreme pain. Plus he had cooked can... I can't say that word because YouTube. So he didn't eat the things he wanted to eat and he had a bad dream. But we'll get over that soon and we'll be back to making real meals in the not too distant future. We got rice up here, 80%. Corn's at 86%. Uh, I may have overdone the barley a smidgy. You know what I could really do? Is cut out some of these heel roots the next time that happens. Let's grab the heel root zone and disallow sowing. And we'll add a bunch more corn in there as well. We've even got corn over there. So corn here, half of this will be corn, more corn there. That should do it for us. Very nice. I'm back. Ooh, look at this little thing. It's like a land shark, Dillocallus. What a cool looking thing. I wouldn't mind a Dillocallus. What's the chance of this thing trying to fight me? Chance on tame fail, 25. Well, Zavoria's right here. I'm right here. Do I have a meal in my pocket by chance? No, don't melee attack the Dillo Forest. That's not what I want. Prioritize taming. Nope, I gotta go get some meals. But I wanna, I'm gonna give it a whirl. He looks so cool. He's like a hot, hot... Oh, he just snorted. Do you guys hear that? Let's see if he does it again. No. Huh, maybe he's got a cold little guy. That's so sad for him. By the way, our mod um, enabled, and it does look like we're we're cutting the grass, unfortunately, which is not what I wanted from this colony mod here. So it says clear areas. I could have sworn I had only cover on. Let's turn everything off and turn cover on. Yeah, I must have somehow messed that up at some point, but there. So now we're gonna we're gonna cut all that grass when we really don't want to. So what I'm gonna do is just cancel these orders because they're super dumb. And then hopefully next time that works. I don't understand how that happened. Maybe I mis misclicked last time. But yeah, we're not we're not cutting the jungle, clear cutting it down to the ground. <laughs> Whatever. Next time uh, someone goes out there and works, and it'll get taken care of proper. I hope. Now, where did I go? Uh, apparently, I just got confused and didn't bother trying to tame the doofus over there. Unless I did and I missed it. Let's go. Whoa. Oh, never mind. I just heard something get attacked. What the heck it was. Build complete, make pants. Prioritize taming. What is getting attacked and where is it? 
Oh, here. Oh, it's another one of the Dilosauruses. It's getting attacked by a Kano Taurus. Oh, it's so small you can't even see it. Poor guy. Listen to that, though. What crazy noises they're making. Look at this thing with a spike on its head. There's more of them over here. Can I get multiples and have them breed? That would be incredible. Now, if I fail to do this and Zavori is not over here to help me, it's going to be really bad. 25% chance of revenge on failed tame. Zavori can help me if I fail. Oh, look, it's going to go see its friend over here. It's so Look, it's so sad. Look, oh, the poor female. I don't know if this is a male or not. Look, they're all coming over. Oh, no, never mind. They're actually eating their friend. Never mind. Uh, I thought they were coming over to, like, pay their respects. Apparently, they just eat their dead. Whoopsie daisy. Uh, let's hope that I this thing... Yes, tame chance, 40% failed. Well, we'll give that a whirl later. It's before we get off of alert. I would love to get one. We're not quite done with the park yet, though, so I should probably wait on that. And we're a little backed up on other things as well. Ooh, look at this. The water pump actually has a progress bar to show you how much water it has inside of it. Fascinating. And now we should have this working. We do. Here's the problem. This is definitely heating up the room, even when we're not using it, unfortunately. So what I might need to do in the morning is uh, prioritize myself to go down there and smelt. Or alternatively, I can just do it this way. Let's open up my inventory. I believe, is it smithing? Working at, working at, make weapons. Working at, working at. What, what are all these working at? Make things, fabricate things. No, I'm pretty sure it's crafting them. Yeah, here it is, smelt. Let's bump that up to a four. And I'll leave it open so I remember and deal with it in the morning. That way our freezer isn't like trying to fight the heat generation of this thing. And then all this meat needs to get hauled urgently. Uh, I do think that Cambiar, this says preferred, let's bring it down to low. I do feel like Cambiar spoils in nine hours. All right, let's make sure he's hauled urgently as well. Slurcy, you will never do hauling. Everyone else will come in here and take care of this so that the stuff doesn't get completely rotted. There we go. Awesome. And now we should be able to make all the shirts and pants that I had wanted for everybody. And now I'm starting to melt the slag chunks. Now, how much do we get from each one of these? 20. Well, that's not very much. One thing I can do, though, is put a zone here to expedite this process. And this zone's going to be priority critical. Mostly for steel slag chunks. Then let's zoom out. Let's grab all of these guys and let's haul them urgently. There's even a whole bunch down here as well. And then this thing should be maintained at full capacity. Oh, it's getting too hot in here because I'm smelting. You know what? Let's actually just uh, we'll toggle the power off. We'll make sure Mango comes over here and does it right now. Because st stuff is starting to rot in here because the temperature is getting too high. Might also just be that it's too hot out. It's 110 outside. And this is not a well-insulated room. It looks like that is actually the bigger problem. So what I'm going to do is build a second cooler and hope that we have the steel to make that happen. It looks like we might be very close, but I'm not 100% sure. Look at this. Everyone just came down here and grabbed all that steel instantaneously. Marriage is on, friends! Cinnamon told Xavier that she wants to spend her life with him. I've agreed, and the two are now engaged. Well, it's a good thing we've got a marriage... Actually, we don't have a marriage spot. And you know what? I think I'm not going to place one manually because that was bugging out the game before it and it took me several hours to figure it out. Oh, whoops. There's more steel slag over there that we're hauling urgently. So I'm hoping if I just don't place a marriage spot, it'll take place at the marriage spot without me having to uh, force it. 
We'll see. Wow, we're gonna have two two marriages in this town in the first couple of years, which is fantastic. That's gonna keep our speed rates exceedingly high. Everyone is pretty happy as it is already. Well, we did get the second cooler going. Let's drop it down to 20 degrees. There we go. Uh, we now found a pristine ruins nearby. The Confederacy of the Funyun has sent us a message. Their skulls have discovered an old complex in an almost untouched condition. Interesting. It's all the way up there and we're down here, so I'm not really sure if I want to go for it. I feel like we've got a few other things that are slightly more important. And another thing is we actually have zero meals, like, at all. But we'll, we'll fix that extremely soon. The corn is at 93. The rice is actually at 194. So tomorrow morning, Mango should get over there. Let's make sure that he is going to do this. If we look at him... Yeah, because he was hauling urgently. That's why he didn't do it. But normally, he's got soul crops, soul crops, harvest on a five. He should do that almost uh, right away. Looks like Mango is going to uh, cut trees first, so let's actually bump that down to a 5 for him, so he always harvests first. And this time the build did work, and it just set all of the trees that could provide good cover, or any cover, rather, to be chopped, rather than all the things, including the grass, which is good. Now, all these Dilophosaurus things seem to be wandering down here and eating our barley. This is mildly infuriating... I guess the best solution is just to haul it urgently. Maybe try to tame a couple of these guys. Let's see if we can get a male and a female. That's a fe There we go. Male and a female. Let's go tame. And there we go. Uh, so one thing I had to do with Chaos is I had to switch him off of plant cutting or push it back from a 4 to a 5 so he does cooking first. That's a little important. And because we haven't had food for a while now. Cinnamon's working on a little bit of heater of Hunoms, which is great. However, the more important thing is we've now finished septic tanks, which is fantastic. We don't have anything in the research queue. Let's go back to machining for now. Now, let's go look at what the septic tank actually requires. Septic tank. 100 steel and 100 wood. Slowly clean sewage over time. Sewage is directed to septic tanks first. If it reaches full capacity, then excess sewage is sent to sewage outlets. Okay. Well, we could put one of those down here. Now, we don't necessarily have an outlet. It can be placed anywhere. Sewage will pool and spread on land or disperse in water. Sewage cleans up over time. The presence of trees, water, and rain will speed it up. Interesting. I actually just want to contain it, so I'm thinking of putting a septic tank right here. Uh, and then another couple of things I wanted to do was, first, put in the thermostat. So that's going to be one, two, three tiles over, so right there. Next to the thermostat is going to be a boiler that controls this guy. Uh, and then with the thermostat controlling the boiler, the boiler can heat up the water and then store it in the hot water tank. Now that's 75 steel, 80 steel... And an additional 10 steel with four components. We do have a ton of components. Uh, we've got 51 remaining. The problem is, of course, steel. And now that we've got two coolers down here, I'm pretty sure we can turn this on. Even in the ridiculous temperatures that we have, and have this still maintain. Cambiotter is actually rotting. Oh, unfortunate. Let's come up here and make sure allow rotten is off. We don't want anyone uh, who can rot in there at all. Poor guy. He's not even going get, to get nommed. It's unfortunate for him. A fair bit of progress. So many things are queued up, but still much more to do. Here's a question. This septic tank, can I build it? Ah, I can build it out of bamboo. That's exactly what I want to do. Because we have an almost infinite supply of bamboo and not so much infinite supply of water. Uh, Murder Chicken and Monkey Slate are both starving, but that's only because we have zero meals. Now that I've changed Chaos's uh, priorities, he should take care of that today. And I know this is like really inefficient walking over this, but we're going to melt that all up really quickly here. 
Uh, as soon as haul urgently is done, I'm going to craft a little bit. And when I'm done crafting, I should go over there and just make steel for days. And as soon as the steel is made, I'm going to go make more stuff and just keep going back and forth until it's all done. Oh, actually, Zavoria beat me to it. And there we go. Now, how does this work? Ah, you can drain it. Now, that's what I wanted to see. So this is treating 50 liters per day, holding zero. This is great. So if I want to, in the future, I can drain it, and then we have an infinite amount of chem uh, fuel over there. So we're no longer going to need to do this. Uh, the real thing we need to do is replace all of these. I, I believe... No. It says pit 6%. Yeah, these just use a pit by default, even though we have plumbing down there. So we want to replace all of those things. Let's put in bamboo toilets for everybody. We're going to have to do it one at a time. So let's deconstruct. It's going to make a huge mess. It's going to, this is going to, oh boy, this is not going to be the funnest time for everybody. <laughs> let's say that right now. But yeah, let's deconstruct the vast majority of all of these things. And we're going to put like bamboo tubs in all of these places. I want to go, yeah, the actual, so the, supposedly the difference between the tub and the shower is that the tub is more comfortable, but takes a lot more water. So I'm not sure if I should be doing this, but I do feel like it fits perfectly if we put it right in like that. Then we can put a, a bamboo sink over here um, as such. And then if we get this guy out of there, we can put in a full bamboo toilet, like right in its place, like here, here. Yes, yes, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. What the heck is this? A giant crab? Baby male giant crab has apparently just wandered into our base and is wandering around. Uh, how did it get inside? anybody's guess i don't have a clue to be entirely honest i'm really curious to see how this stuff works so here we have the thermostat ah target temperature 70. now we probably want the thermostat to get hot i believe right so can we bump that up to like 195 let's go to 120 i think that's what they normally are actually looks like 95 is the most we can make it okay so the boiler power needed only 20 watts it says we have 840 excess Connected heating z zero units. Heating units 250 power. So we don't have a storage tank to put it into is what I think. We can increase the power mode. Heating units 1000 U. I'm a little bit confused. Also, oh, I didn't realize I could rotate the thermostat. Because now I have it facing over there like a dopey dope. We'll see if this works when we get the um, the tank working over here. Yeah, in the meantime... These little guys are getting wrecked. And then they're getting eaten by all the... Yep, instantaneously. Nutrition, four point, whatever, meat amount, 30. They're like basically rats. Instantaneously getting eaten by their friends. <laughs> it's amazing. Gonna make sure our corn's inside as well. All right. Oh, hello, Carnotaurus. Looks like your fight with the Diplocalus... Did not work so well for you. However, Zavora can come over here and rescue you, and maybe there's a very slim chance, but just maybe he might join us because we saved him, and he's very appreciative. That is indeed a thing that can happen. It's not exactly guaranteed, but it's certainly possible. By the way, why do we have so many hemp fabric water veils? Uh, that's awkward. You know what it might be? It's because I didn't shut this off. Exactly the way that I should do. Yeah, apparel should be off here. Weapons off. Items off. Uh, I must have messed this up. Not This is literally just for food. It's not an overflow container at all. It's for food. Uh, Hunams, no buildings, no manufacture. Just the foods that are fresh. Awesome. Now we can grab basically everything in here uh, and haul it urgently. And that should all get taken care of. Fantastic. Now we ran out of steel for a long... Oh, look at this! They put it in Cinnamon's room. Look at her! She's so happy about this, too. 
We're just sitting there, couldn't be any happier with an unconscious ginormous dinosaur sleeping half in their bed. Tending to Carnotaurus. I was just checking to see if Mango was going to do this. He is indeed going to do it. That's absurd. That is absolutely absurd. Uh, I hope it doesn't wake up and eat cinnamon. I mean, <laughs> look how happy, what a happy little family. All right, I think um, I think that's long enough for this episode. It's actually way longer than I would have liked it to go. But I feel like, as much as I made a lot of progress, there's actually still quite a bit more progress to make. Like, I have all of the tubs and whatnot coming in here. Unfortunately, each one takes five steel. Each, um, each toilet takes five steel. Each bamboo basin takes five steel in addition to the, um, the bamboo. So really, the steel is what's holding us back on all of this front. It does seem as though everything is working. Uh, as far as these are not connected because the, this one right here, if I, if I click on hygiene, it shows the plumbing system. If I click on bam, yeah, this one's not here, but we'll get a free pipe once the toilet gets built, but we can't build it. Oh yeah, this pipe is not connected either because this didn't get built and I took that out right at the end there. And this is not connected either, but once these are built, the piping system should work. Is this filling up? It says do not drain. Treating 50 uh, liters a day, currently holding 469 liters. Wow. It's already at 94% capacity. Holy, we need to build another one. Not that I have 100 steel for it. Did not expect that to fill up that quickly. That is crazy. We're going to need a lot of these guys, which means a lot more steel. And our hot water tank is, of course, very close to done, but we're lacking in steel. Uh, and you know what, we got a lot of steel here. But I did have to turn this back off because it was heating up too cold. Uh, or it was getting rid of the cold and some of the stuff was rotting in there. But you know what, now that it doesn't matter too much because all that's left is the Hunans, we should probably turn it back on for the next episode. But all we really need is steel. We got most of this mined. There's a few more left. Uh, looking around for where I might be able to get more relatively quickly. It doesn't actually look like there's much. In fact, it's really hard to see with all the rain. Uh, there's some down here, but that's way out in the water. I think there's a patch up here or something. Yeah, right up there on the right. I suppose this will have to be our next one, so we'll mine all that. All right, well, once we're returning, we make uh, quite a bit more water things. We finish up the entire plumbing system. I mean, we did get it mostly done. We upgraded this as well, which is nice. And probably... We work on getting the rest of this gate put in here, which is going to require us to haul some more slate, which we'll get around to very quickly. And then hopefully, I do have a couple of those Dilophosaurus guys set to tame. Yeah, here's one. Both of them right near in the farm here. So hopefully, we can get some of these guys and actually get the park 100% good to go. Well, we're only going to have one dinosaur in it, but still, it's, uh, it's more than zero. Technically, we have eight and we have man over here as well, so they're having a fun time. But until the next episode, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. It looks like Colonist needs a treatment. That's me. Chaos, if you wouldn't mind coming down here and helping me out with this. Beautiful. Chaos getting shot by this guy. He doesn't care. He dodges the shot as well. Dodges another one. Beautiful. I'm doing some melee punches on Kairoro down there. Whoop. Now they're fleeing. Yep. Looks like Chaos showed up. Whacked Kairoro in the head. And off they go. Zavor, you want to go murder this guy? Oh, look at the little guy. The little Komodo.